First tonight, the Green Ladle is Lewiston Regional Technical Center's culinary program. It's shaping students for careers in the hospitality industry. We've caught up with these students a number of times over the years as they completed at both the state and national level. And this past spring, they rolled up their sleeves and served meals to their neighbors when the pandemic hit. The pandemic has made the future of their industry a bit uncertain, but that is not slowing these kids down. They are taking their show on the road, literally, with the acquisition of a new food truck, which will serve as both a teaching tool and as an avenue to developing compassion. And under the leadership of Chef Dan Karen, they are ready to hit the road. We got handed our license yesterday, so we're ready to roll. Chef Dan karen has got a pretty big smile on his face these days. I am really excited. These are businesses that approached me and said, Chef, we want to help you do this. They got a whiff of it and they're like, we want to help you raise money. Uh, we want to give you money so you can purchase these two items right here and serve food to the community. For Chef Dan, it is always about community. For 23 years, he has nurtured the culinary studies at Lewiston Regional Technical Center, known as the Green Ladle. Does this sound right? 60 students in a two-year program, all with an eye towards stepping out into the hospitality and restaurant industry. Okay, guys, let's do the three-foot spacing, please. Make sure we got all the gloves on. We're looking good. That's an industry navigating big changes these days, which is why adding a food truck to the curriculum seemed like the perfect next step. Food trucks is the fastest growing industry in food service right now. What a way to teach the kids. You know, we just gotta, we gotta make do. We gotta adjust to the times. And, and, and they're excited about it as much as I am. Chef sees this not only as a teaching tool. This is an assignment, don't forget. But as a vehicle for giving back to the community he loves so deeply. Your order number is one and it'll be ready at the window mm -hmm. momentarily. As I tell my students, you know, if you're staying in the culinary field, you're going to be serving the community. Lift it right up, Natalie. Lift it right up. There you go. All my friends that are chefs and restaurant owners, we all give back to the community in some way. It's just part of culinary. Give it another minute or so. The truck is going to be called Community Serving Community. Order number two. We teach knife skills. We teach soups and sauces. We teach bakery skills. But compassion is really hard something to teach. And this summer, we taught compassion when they were delivering food to the area neighborhoods. So it's just part of the green ladle. In order to make money, they hope to book the truck for weddings, festivals, and fairs. Your order is number four, and it'll be right out. Profits raised will then be used to feed food insecure situations. We might even pull into a neighborhood that we know is struggling. Open up the food truck, free food. I think Dan really uh, captures the imagination of, of, of kids that are, that are thinking about a career in the culinary arts and it helps them understand the responsibility they have uh, to you know to bring that talent to bear and to use that training not only to, to make a nice living for yourself but also to, to really serve the community in a, in a very substantial way. Order number six, barbecue pulled pork slider, no coleslaw. Students get hands-on skills in a fast-paced food truck kitchen and on this day practice putting their skills to use serving up pizza, sliders, mac and cheese, all the while masked and navigating a small workspace. They work seamlessly in tight quarters. Tell me some of the things you're learning as part of the work on the food truck. Definitely communication, definitely communication. I'm definitely thankful for what I have, so, and just thinking about like how others don't have what I have too, just, it makes me feel really good to do something about it, help a little bit. For sure. I always ask myself, would I pay $8 yeah. for it? Would I pay the $10? In order to having that leadership that trickles down to everyone, I guess it's more of a culture. When just knowing that we care and that we want to make a difference, we want to be a part of the community, and the students truly, they follow right behind and they do. In my view, the role that every current technical school should have that they should be thinking actively about how every program can have that kind of role in its community. Um, this is our workforce of, of the future. I thought you did great. But we really hope those kids perfect. also leave us not only with the technical skills, but with that sense of, of the community they live in and, and their role in that. It's good stuff. If you're looking for what works, what's right about education today, this is it. 
Photographer Devin Crawford and I always love our shoots with the Green Ladle because they usually involve lunch, and I can tell you the pizza was very good. Chef Dan is quick to point out that several area businesses stepped up generously to make this truck a reality. The community serving community food truck will be hitting the road soon. They've already booked a few outdoor events, and we will include more information about the program and how to book the truck in the 207 section of our website and mobile app. Oh man, that looked good.